Hey, welcome to the first workout of five free days of fabulous arm exercises. So I'm going to start with kind of a W here, and we're just going to go in and out. And I'm going to do each one of these moves for just 20 seconds. Now, if you're someone who prefers to count reps instead, uh, hey, go for it. Um, but I'm just looking at a little second hand on a clock behind me here, and I'm doing each one of these for 20 seconds. So for this particular program, no weights are required. You can just get a lot of workout and resistance just moving your arms with no weights, but just your actual body weight is what provides the resistance. In fact, I did an entire program. Um, it was called PIO. It's a combination of Pilates and yoga. No weights. And it was a fantastic upper body program. It also had lower body and core and cardio. Um, but you don't have to have dumbbells in your hands to get a great workout. And if you find out that you finish all of this and you're not fatigued, then you can add weights the next time. You could grab a couple of soup cans or you could get some small dumbbells or you could start with a couple of water bottles. And that's just if you're finishing the whole thing and you don't feel fatigued. But I know I'm going to feel some fatigue just from the resistance of my body weight. So you can do this anytime, anywhere. You don't need a whole lot of space. You can wear whatever you want. You're probably not going to work up a tremendous sweat that you would have to put on workout clothes to do this. So for this next one, I, I call these goal post arms. I'm just going back with them, circling back. So I don't know if you could tell that's what I'm doing, but yep, that's what that's about. So when I first started working on my arms, I thought that my arms had, um, well, it turned out to not be as difficult as I thought to change the shapes of my arms. Now I'm going forward. Because when I did this regularly, I started to see that muscle develop fairly quickly. And some of what I thought was fat under my arms was really just like flesh that needed some muscle toning. So that was a pretty neat thing to learn that over time. So a lot of people ask me, what's the best time of day to work out? And I really think that the best thing is what fits your life, what you're willing to commit to. And what I'm gonna do now is just repeat every move for 20 seconds again. So um, for me, mornings work really well because that's the time when I'm least likely to be interrupted. So that's why I like mornings. Um, but when I do um, the regular routine that I do for myself each day, I typically will have some sweat and some cleanup required. And I wanna be able to clean up and then fix my hair and makeup, which takes me bloody forever. And I wanna do it once a day and be done. And so I work out early in the morning and then I can fix myself up and I'm ready for the day. And what I found out in my own life is that when I was working out, like if I tried to work out after school or after work, I would find ways to talk myself out of it. Um, I would see other tasks and I would go, oh, well, I need to do that instead because whatever, um, whatever reasons came up. Or I would think, oh, I don't want to work out because then I'm going to have to shower and I'm going to fix, fix hair and I'm going to have to do makeup again before I go to such and such activity or meeting. Oh. But if I did it in the morning, I wasn't interrupting um, anyone else's daily routine or schedule to get it done. And once I was finished, I would fix my hair and my makeup up and I would be done with that particular... Um, I was done with hair and makeup for the day then. But you could do this while you're watching TV if you wanted to. It doesn't take very long. Or you could do it, um, get your family to join you. Ask them to try something like this with you. And what I want you to do in the comments below is I want you to tell me, what did you think was the toughest move? Was there a move that you thought seemed kind of easy? I'd like to hear about that. Is there a move that you especially liked for one reason or another. And I'm starting to question if I actually was accurate on my 20 second counts and if you find out I wasn't, hey, add a few more reps, that's fine.
and this is the last move of the day, punches. So while you're finishing these last few punches, remember the question I asked you. What move did you like best? What move did you maybe not like so much? And the most important question of all, how did you feel when you were done with this? And I'm looking forward to seeing your comments below.